Namaste. I thought this morning I would read um, something that I had written in my own journey. A lot of these writings, you know, like I say, they came out at different parts of my journey. And so hopefully you get something from them or just enjoy them. Uh, and if not, don't know what to say. <laughs> But this one is called the Divine Puja. Now on this path we don't do pujas, but there are a lot of people, Hindus and things, that are doing pujas. On this path we see that <clears throat> different gods, goddesses, as different energies that we work with. Okay, They are not these uh, persona constructed separations. Okay. <clears throat> So let's uh, go ahead and go forward on this. So this is I, I one thing that I think I want to do one talk when I can find a copy of it again is the Uddhava Gita. You hear so many people talking about the Bhagavad Gita. Okay. And the Bhagavad Gita all has to do with transient realm, divide things, how to act in the transient world, you know, do your duty and, and all of these types of things. Well, in the very last part, <clears throat> there's a second part, which is the Uddhava Gita. And it's where Krishna was telling Uddhava, his very long, long, long time devotee, the more in-depth things. And the more in-depth things were not to depend on him as an persona, okay, to go beyond to Advaita. So he was giving the lessons of Advaita rather than the transient realm, okay. <clears throat> so here we go. This is called the Divine Puja. In Divine Puja, you are all. The body is the action. The wisdom you ascertain is the light, the light of consciousness. The senses are the wafting fragrance of life in the transient realm. The whisk is the breath of life, which gives life to the vehicle of form. And the prasad is the ego self laid at the feet of the divine. When all ego self in action and outcome is surrendered totally, all that remains is the all, or God, the source, the divine constant, that which is truth, consciousness, and bliss, Satchit Anand. Beyond the ego form of seeming bound divisions is the truth of existence. All existence is a divine puja, and you are the divine prasad. Ego is the offering, form or body the action, and that which is offered to self devoid of ego sense is truth beyond division, yet also form in the transient, non-dual, forever non-dual, ever in form and non-form. The transient that rests in the constant, nature seen and spirit unseen, form the one. And yet beyond is the void or emptiness of truth, consciousness and bliss, the self of all, beyond birth and beyond death, permeating all and yet separate and distinct, beyond the paradox of minds, illusions and forms of divisions. The ocean of divine consciousness is the basis of all life. All that is seen and unseen, that which is beyond all concepts and divisions, yet seen in all its glory within the seeming duality called life and existence. Okay. So this was written um, more for those that are on the path of um, bhakti, that divine love, you know, there are, there are two ways to get to realization. One is that divine love, that bhakti to where one just finally uh, implodes into that and loses themselves in that divine love. 
Okay, they finally deconstruct into that. And that's sort of like this, the divine puja. One is offering oneself up at every turn. Okay, all of life becomes a puja. Not that you're sitting there in front of an altar. Okay, one sees all of life as part of a divine puja. So everything that one does, when every action <clears throat> can be a gift to God, can be a part of one's path to realization. Okay. Mostly here, I don't teach the path of bhakti. Uh, mainly here is the path of discrimination. Okay, uh, that's just the way that this path is taught. But one can go in in either way. There are two two uh, different ways to get there. Okay, <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed the divine puja and become a divine puja in your own daily life. Namaste. Have a great day.